Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of J Bros Cooking, I'd Eat That. We had a monsoon in the morning, which doesn't usually happen. We had planned on meeting up. Anyways, we have some light set up. I took a picture of it, put in the video. It's a pretty ghetto setup. We were expecting some nice natural sunlight. The sun never came up. It's up, but it's just being blocked. Yeah. So we are reviewing pork on a fork. Ooh, that sounds good. There is one right up the street from my house, but apparently that is only strictly their, they do their catering out of there. So we are at the Pork and a Fork restaurant, which is about 15th Avenue and Deer Valley. And they also do catering uh, out of that, that, that spot too. We love barbecue, me and Joe. We're, we do. We're big fans of barbecue, but we also live in Arizona. So we love tacos and burritos and all of that good stuff. So when I went into Pork and a Fork, they offer, you can get the sandwich, you can get, you know, you can get the classic plate, you can get a bowl. They also offered it as a burrito. And I thought, hey. you know what? We live in Arizona. We love barbecue. Burrito sounds good to me. So I did ask the lady, I said, you know, what's your, your best seller? And as far as the burrito goes, she goes, well, overall, for all the items, whatever you're getting, usually the brisket is the best seller. As you recall, when we did the barbecue tour, we were trying to do about two to three items per place, and we tried to get the brisket every we tried place to get did. the brisket. A lot of times it was sold out. We went with the brisket. You pick your protein, and then you pick two of their sides to put in with the burrito as well. And she said the two top choices for the burrito with the brisket would be their seasoned rice and their macaroni and cheese. So that is what's in the burrito. So it's brisket, seasoned rice, macaroni and cheese. All right, and then... I was a little bit confused because I was thinking when she said sides, I think she, I thought she was talking about what goes in it. So then I was like, the mac and cheese. So I got mac and cheese again on the side, which I probably would have picked something different. But I also got their baked beans. So I'm excited about that. I'm a little bit upset about this. I mean, I'm supposing this could still be their barbecue sauce that they make, but it's pretty prepackaged. That's how so. it was that, what's it called? That one barbecue place in New Mexico? Rudy's. Yeah, theirs was really prepackaged. But, but it was decent barbecue sauce. Yeah, we'll give it a try. So there's the burrito, brisket. All right, let's take a bite. I'm going in. Going in. Mm. Mm. Well, let me go and get a little bit of taste of this mac and cheese. How's that, Johnson? It's not bad. Going back to the barbecue tour, we didn't get macaroni and cheese out of bunch of places but we did get it a few yeah some of it was like and i we got it somewhere and, it and i was like, not a fan of it really anywhere this yeah. is not bad and i don't know what they put on top but it's got a little bit of a spicy flavor which i'm liking all right in for the beans i'm not gonna say that they don't taste like they just came out of a can but like they don't taste bad but no like honestly like they don't taste bad but i've I'm, done that like i've gotten like the bushes baked beans and i've just spiced them up and everyone's like that's good like well, where'd you get your recipe and i'm like well <laughs> well that's what i'm saying like they don't taste bad at all they taste good but like i'm not tasting anything like crazy and i'm not like a lot of times they'll throw like leftover brisket in it and stuff like i'm not really seeing any of that but as that goes joe you can even try Am I using the same fork? Well, you see, I'm the one that's uh, yeah. John's the immunocompromised, and I already bit off of it, so. So yeah, I get to get John's germs now because yeah. Okay. How's my cancer? I'm going. I'm going beans first. Mmm. Good, right? But yeah, not necessarily. They're not my mom's. That's for sure. Yeah, cause she throwing them good kidney beans. My mom would mix it up. Mmm. And like I said the mac and cheese is actually pretty good. Are we rating everything at once or just the... Let's rate the burrito. Let's rate the burrito and then we'll rate the... I'm gonna we'll just rate, rate the, the meal burrito. overall. Yeah, I'm going to rate the burrito. I'm going to give it... It's going to come in right around a 3.1 for me. You know, I'm in Arizona. Very good burrito. But I've eaten a lot of burritos in my lifetime. And I think I've said this before. But you got to like really impress me with a burrito to, um, to get me into the fours or the high threes. The meal overall. The meal overall. You know, I'm, I'll give the... I'm just going to do a thumbs up, thumb down on the, on the beans... Thumbs up for both of them, the mac and cheese, and the I'll give them a thumbs up. I'm not really going to give them a rating. They were nothing really special, and I don't know. Overall, though, yeah, it was a really good, really good meal. I don't know. Now, here's the here's the big deal. What was the price for everything? See, now, originally, I thought it was just a burrito, so I actually was a little bit surprised that it came with the two sides. It was, I think, for the, the normal burrito, is $10.99. And I think this burrito, because it was the brisket, was $13.99. So we paid $15 and change out the door. Now, granted, I had a coupon. It was buy one, get one burrito. I got a separate burrito. with. So for that deal, it was really good. But that's not what they normally offer. So 
I, even at the price of fifteen in change, I think you got a good amount of food yeah. for the fifteen dollars. A lot of these reviews, we go and we do these fast food meals, and if you get the meal, you're like ten dollars, and it's a, not a lot of food, you know. Let me go ahead and give my rating. So I'm going to come in just a little bit lower than Joe, and for once, it's not going to have actually anything to do with the. Wait, money. are you giving it a solid number? Isn't that like your boy? And that's do the that? thing. I don't usually do a solid number. So Joe is a three one. I'm going to come in at a three point zero. And here's He's my like a three point zero point like the percentage like your bank gives you. So here's the reason why I'm coming in just a little bit lower than Joe. Overall, I like the meal. My one knock on it is we kind of discussed this off camera so i'm going to bring it on camera my one knock is and i don't know if we had maybe got the brisket on its own i just wasn't getting in the burrito with it all mixed up i wasn't getting the like i'm eating at a barbecue place taste i wasn't getting a ton of smoky flavor it, it, there was no bad flavors it tastes good i'm totally happy yeah, and, with the meal were you getting the I don't want to knock it for this because it had a very good taste. And I know it's your turn, John. But I'm, oh, yeah. kind, of, I'm kind of pulling a John right now. I'm interrupting. That's, that's what like he does. That's what I like to do. Shuts me down all the time. So I'm going to shut John down. I'm getting... I mean, you can try. And you already said this. You know, we already talked about this before because we kind of had our little discussion. And I got it at that same place as in uh, Arkansas Barbecue Place. Though. Yeah. And it just has it more of like a roast... Which I'm, I've never really cooked a brisket, so I'm not like that one to, that wants to judge. But from what I've had from brisket, this is given like that more of pot roast. Yeah, like a pot roast feel. And, I, and again, it tastes good. It very tastes, good. Very everything good. tastes great. Maybe if we had gotten the brisket on its own, not mixed in with rice and macaroni and cheese and rolled up into a tortilla, we would have got a little bit more of the flavor. So it, maybe it was just getting a little bit lost in the burrito. But yeah, over, you're technically picking what you want in the burrito. You are. So one in a million is going to be like, yo. That's not a burrito. That is not a burrito. Right? That is a tortilla with macaroni and cheese in it. And rice. And rice. <laughs> You could sit down and you could eat there. We got it to go. But it was more like, you might pay more like, you know, 15 bucks, like going to like Chili's or something like that. But that's about the amount of food. And I feel like it was on par with like that. It's it's not fast food. It's it's better than fast food. So I, I for once, I'm not actually knocking the price. Put this out there. Leave it in the comments. We are coming up, I guess in September, we'll have had J-Bros for two years. And the reviews didn't start till like around December. So they're not quite there yet for two years but um if you want us to change our rating to one through ten let us know yeah we been... might try and figure out how, how to put up a poll on something like maybe instagram or facebook or maybe a different different joke. wares and see how see what kind of numbers come in we're at 18 minutes let's go like i always say joey what do you always say well, first of all, i like to say we appreciate if you would give us a like and a subscribe all of your guys' support through watching I eat that. Like we always say, Joey. It's always better when you review it yourself. Jay Bros out. Uh, don't pause it yet, Joe. Don't pause it yet. Uh, blow your kiss. Don't turn the camera off, John. I'm not going. I'm trying not to. All right. So, for everyone, when Joe talks about the jack in the box. Okay, you turn the camera upside down. Wait, wait. Let me do it. Right. There. When Joe complains about the jack in the box. That's closed on 19th Ave and Thunderbird. Yeah, that's it. That closes at 10 o'clock and they block their drive through with a dumpster. That's the one. I guess we forgot to get the um, try the barbecue sauce, so here we go real quick. Go, John. How am I trying? Dude, just suck some of that stuff up right now. This is the spicy one. That's the spicy? I know I like this. This is John likes the spicy. Look at this. <laughs> it's all right. This is just a quick little... We tried it. Jewel, cut that in there for us. We forgot to put it in. We forgot to do it during the video, so here we are. It's good, but it was a strong bite. 